everyone. So this week we've been talking a little bit about melodies and different ways that we can describe them. We talked about the form that they may take on the page, whether it's an arch or ascending or perhaps descending. So I have this lovely Silver Burdett songbook from my mom, and I'm just going to pull out a couple of random songs. Oh, there's a note from my mom. Oh, Erie Canal, you probably don't know that one. Oh, Susanna. Okay. Oh, Susanna. Let's see if that's conjunct, which means that the notes are going to move by small steps, or if it's adjunct, disjunct, which means that it's got bigger leaps. So... pretty small steps, maybe one, skipping one note in between, but not much. How about, uh, that's another good one, Old Dan Tucker, you know that one? Old Dan Tucker was a mighty man, he watched his face with a man. A little bit of disjunct, but mostly conjunct. Oh, Old MacDonald. Largely stepwise. So that one again is conjunct. Um, let's do Eensy Weensy Spider. Very conjunct. So today in our jazz music, we're going to learn about a piece that I love. This is one of my favorites. It's called A Night in Tunisia, and it's um, one that Dizzy Gillespie wrote. Tunisia is a country way over here at the top part of Africa, very close to Italy, right there in the Mediterranean Sea, right there. So it, it's a very, very foreign place to us. And this piece uses a really cool character. It switches in between like a straight eighth note shuffle, and it's very disjunct. music, have a better understanding of that, and have fun with A Night in Tunisia. <laughs> 